If we talk about the diversity of life, biologists classify living organisms into three domains. This domain classification system is based on fundamental differences in the cellular structures and ribosomal RNA sequences. These domains are Number one is the archaea domain, two is the bacteria domain, and three is the eukarya. Carl Woese and his colleagues proposed this three-domain system based on molecular and genetic characteristics of living organisms in the late 20th century. In the past, the archaea was classified with bacteria due to several resemblances like the absence of a nucleus, lacking membrane-bound organelles, and so on. However, molecular characterization revealed that the archaea are distinct from bacteria and eukaryotes and are the basis for the three-domain classification system. The bacteria domain is different from archaea and includes single-celled organisms without a nucleus or membrane-bound organelles. They can be found in various environments and play crucial roles in various ecological processes. The eukarya domain comprises all eukaryotic organisms characterized by cells with a true nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. Eukarya has four kingdoms, protists, fungi, plants, and animals. The credit for the three domains classification system goes to American biologist Carl Woese. He used sequencing data of ribosomal RNA genes and developed this modern classification system. This brought a few changes in living organisms classifications. For example, the classical living classification system had five kingdoms, including 1. Animals, 2. Plants, 3. Fungi, 4. Protist, and 5. Bacteria. This classification system was based on the physical features of living. The Carl Woese classification system led to six kingdoms of living organisms with a major change in the domain that emerged at the top of the hierarchy instead of kingdoms. Remember, all livings are grouped into three domains. In addition to bringing domains to the top of the hierarchy, this new classification system added an additional kingdom to the prokaryotic group of organisms. This led to bifurcating bacteria into two kingdoms, the archaea and bacteria initially grouped together. The eukaryotic group remains unchanged, with four kingdoms as proposed in the old classification system. Let us also go through each kingdom's characteristics. 1. Bacteria, this kingdom includes unicellular prokaryotic organisms. The absence of a nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles characterizes bacteria. 2. Archaea, like bacteria, archaea are also unicellular prokaryotic organisms. However, they differ from bacteria in terms of genetic makeup and specific aspects of cell structure. Archaea are often found in extreme environments like hot springs and deep seas. 3. Protista, the kingdom Protista includes diverse unicellular and simple multicellular eukaryotic organisms. This group is often considered a catch-all for eukaryotes that do not fit neatly into the other kingdoms. 4. Fungi Fungi are eukaryotic organisms, including familiar organisms like mushrooms, yeasts, and molds. They obtain nutrients through organic material absorption and are important decomposers in ecosystems. 5. Planty This kingdom comprises multicellular, eukaryotic organisms that perform photosynthesis to produce their food. Plants range from tiny mosses to large trees, essential to the Earth's ecosystems. 6. Animalia The kingdom Animalia consists of heterotrophic, multicellular, eukaryotic organisms, meaning they rely on external sources for their food. Animals exhibit many complexities, from simple invertebrates to highly complex vertebrates. We talked earlier that in the past, the five kingdoms were at the top of the classification. Now, three domains are on the top, adding one more kingdom. Previously, there were five kingdoms of living organisms, and now there are six. We will discuss this living organism classification starting from species to domain and life in the form of organisms in other lectures. However, you can see here the order from species to living organisms. I hope you know that the human species name is Homo sapiens, genus Homo, family hominidae, order primates to domain Eukarya. It is essential to mention here that Linnaeus's classification system was based on the physical characteristics of living organisms and led to seven main classification categories. 
This system was developed in 1700 followed for a long time. The modern one proposed in the 1990s by Carl Woese considers molecular characteristics and adds one more category, the domain, on the top of the classification hierarchy. And thank you for watching this video. We always appreciate your comments and subscribing to this channel.